Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Brag from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ben? So Ben's week in Yu-Gi-Oh! We always ask Ben and Ben never remembers. So no. Today I went X1. <laughs> was disappointed. <laughs> um, so I'm on <laughs> Fiendsmith of Snicker Eyes and uh, it was not fantastic. What do you mean it wasn't fantastic? Ah. Just that you didn't win. Yeah, I didn't win. Oh. What'd you lose to? I lost to Kurt. Who was playing? Um, Whitewood Toy Box oh. Centurion. Hey, I went for yeah. the good guys. I uh, I just didn't look over my shoulder and see how much time was left. I thought there was like ten seconds left. There was a minute left. So I like Dang. summoned Diablo Star. Didn't activate the effect to then go battle phase and hit the IP of the SP. Not realizing the SP then couldn't be destroyed by battle. So then, the moment I then went into the link play, I could be SP'd. So I was a bit kind of like, hmm, that's, uh, that's shit. Um, so yeah, I went 3-1 today, and then on Tuesday, I feel like I played something really bad. What did I play? Was it Rescue Race? No. Go away. Did I play on Tuesday? Yeah, surely. Was it Infernal? You did? No. Ah, oh, I played Tempai. Oh, you did? Yes. yes. And I once again lost to Kurt. Who's playing? Centurion? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh. He was on Sprite. Sprite. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't have lost. Um, again. I keep having a habit lately of losing to Kurt when I shouldn't have lost. And Kurt's it's really number. annoying me. No, it's more just me just making mistakes. Like, I talent stole his uh, monster and then has had three monsters on board, proceeded to crash my monster with his last remaining monster instead of just linking the three into Promethean Princess and winning the game. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I did so many stupid things. Yeah, so that was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I just had a... An idea. I'm going to put Double Star and Valmonica because I don't have the Fiendsmith stuff, which works with it. But I was thinking that since there's a spell and trap and uh, pops in the deck, I can therefore run it with BLs. DBLs, sorry. Yep, DBLs. Woohoo. Um, um, yeah, set doing that. Exodus Festival. Uh, just playing Snake Eyes on Master Jewel. Where it's like, because yes, yeah, Snake Eyes Ash is a, one, is a rank 8. Yeah, it's like this is still it's still one of the better rank cards there. So getting that just summon Ash, they surrender. That's pretty much how you play. Yeah, it's a nice little experience. Yeah, it's really fun. I had some pretty pretty good back and forth games with just the XEs. Today in my game against Jake, we got to game three. Uh, I was going first. I drew my five cards. He didn't draw a hand trap and immediately went. Let me look at I your hand. I don't play any hand traps. The only Closest thing to hand traps I would have had is if I had mills that I could have done off turn. Yeah. Didn't happen. I showed him my hand and I won. Uh, so yeah, I guess that takes us to my week. Uh, so yeah, we uh, I think I went X2 today, maybe even X3, I don't know. I didn't get to play the deck that I Did originally... Did you beat Kurt? No. You went yeah. X3. Yeah. Um, so our game one was quite back and forth quite fun um ours yeah it was 35 minutes <laughs> yeah it took a very long time um so that was fun uh but yeah again wasn't the deck that i had intended to bring this week uh forgot yet another link card that i needed uh so maybe by tuesday i'll get to play this uh not particularly good deck and then play play pure agent it. it's not pure oh agent. the yeah he needs the agent goes, link too it was yeah. only in ghost, ghost of the past yeah is that yeah. just for the Melodious cards? Hmm? Is that just for the Melodious to skill drain? Like, are you that worried about skill no, drain? No, 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 no. Okay. So you're playing Melodious Agent? You'll, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Anyway, uh, so I didn't have that, so I was back on to you. Um, yeah, uh, I think Tuesday went kind of the same. Um, on Tuesday, I just ran into a lot of people that just had graveyard hate just tucked in, like, a random spot just for shits and gigs, which kind of fucked me. Um... On Tuesday, I proceeded to not ash my opponent once all tournament or imperm them the entire tournament. They kept being like, 
why aren't you like ashing me or impaling me? I'm like, I literally didn't want to put the cards into my deck. <laughs> I already had Fiendsmith St. Kai's built and was like, any card in that deck, I am not using. What the fuck? Um, so yeah, our game one was great. Lots of back and forth, lots of things happening. Uh, game two, uh, you double drolled me our tactics dual starter. And then... I had a horrendous <laughs> hand outside of that. Yeah, so I got rid of the Diablo, so you had no plays, and then I just punched you with Horace's, and then as you said, it was just a matter of, oh, there's three minutes left, and uh, you have an inbuilt way to burn me for game? Yes. Sick. I think I drew Flameburge half of my hands today. It happens, especially when you're only playing one. Uh, also, I drew double Poplar probably about three oh, times. That's even worse. I was yeah, like, did you make full board anyway? Yes. Because I like, Diablo then, star, then discard about, the poplar. How about you shut up? <laughs> it's uh, just unfortunate, you know? Oh, you poor thing. I was, if I wasn't so far ahead on resources against Ethan, I would have been like, fuck, 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 fuck. I'd used literally every Snake Eyes card I had because I lost the ability to recycle everything because I wanted uh, put back the spell to draw a card. And drew my other poplar and was like, fuck, 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 fuck. This is my last target left in deck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, so yeah, next week uh, I'll be able to play this deck probably once because it'll probably brick and then it'll make me sad. Uh, and then maybe, just maybe, I'll put together my Ubel deck. Yay! I was going to say, you've been picking that stuff up for a while. Yeah. You've also like, been picking I'm... up Fiendsmith. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll see how that goes. Um, and then yeah, I would love to uh, tell you all about my exploits with uh, Time Thieves in the Xyz Cup, uh, but my computer has stopped working. Uh, so I can't, and the only thing I can't do is Master Ball. Everything else is working. And I've tried ah. everything to fix oh. it. Yeah, I have this on my uh, graphics card. Yoda Suji 1. Yeah. There's a timestamp of when this was recorded. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I can get it going. If not, I'll need to buy a new computer, which is a bit annoying. Just play on Switch. I could do that. Oh, I could do that. Or on your phone. Mm. No, I don't want to play it on my phone because I don't want it. Nah, Switch access. is good. Switch is a good size. I, I, also, I also just like the controls of Switch. Oh. It seems to be... I exclusively play it on my phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's... Because you're uh, used to it. We're... Yeah. I don't want to sit on my computer chair, man. Oh, no, yeah, it sucks. Like, yeah. it's... it's. I'm glad you've... I'm glad you've got what you've got going, but I can't do it that way. Mm. Ruined for myself. So, we move on to some news. Uh, so, yeah, uh, quickly on Master Duel, uh For those that maybe haven't gone into the cup, you may have noticed that there's no loner decks. Uh, that is because there's a cup and not a festival. So this one has uh, Worlds qualifications attached to it, as far as I'm aware. For On pure winning. Xyz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you don't get loaner decks, so you do have to have a deck that you can Xyz summon in, uh, or you won't get to play. Uh, but, again, if you have a deck ready, there are some gems on offer, as per usual. Uh, and then we get some new accessories and things added as well. We get a Centurion Primera Sleeve. Uh, and a dark hole dragon background. I crafted Body Harbinger Ultra Rare, and then from the packs got like, yeah, got uh, yeah, another two. <laughs> yeah, and that's really annoying because you can't decraft the ones in the packs. Ben Harbinger. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that hasn't come across for me yet. Uh, if like they've. Either, ever had cards come out in those packs that have hence been banned if you can actually then decraft them or whether you no. just have to sit there with banned cards I don't think it's happened yet no never will what and, if they get unbanned then you recraft them hence the card economy I don't want to participate in the economy <laughs> economy is a scam <laughs> so uh, I have cards sovereign and that's it. yeah <laughs> I play fake cards that I printed at Office Works. I have a permit from that says I can. I also printed that at Office Works. <laughs> so through the week we had some cards announced from Rage of the Abyss. Uh, so firstly, uh, we had two new support cards for Fiend Smith announced. Yeah. I'd like to point out that Jake said through the week we had some cards announced from Rage of the Abyss. 
We're still having them announced. The stream just ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, just saying these ones. Earlier. They, yeah, these ones were announced oh. before the stream. Hence my phrasing better. Throughout the week, all week we've been having announcements. Anyway, yeah. uh, so they get oh, a level four. Evolve your Ursa ring, by the way. Oh yeah. yes, it's a full moon. So hopefully you'll have evolved your Ursa rings. Or you just it's too late. Or you adventure, adventure effect your bat. And Excuse me. Oh, because it moves the ten night time. Hmm. Full moon um, so yeah, level 4, it's treated as a Fiendsmith even though it's not in the name. Uh, normal special summon, send a Fiendsmith card from your deck to the grave, except for itself. And then off turn, uh, target a Fiendsmith link monster in your graveyard, shuffle uh, this card into the deck and then special summon the link. How popular do you think this card's going to be? The monster? Uh, I can see it being played. The other card? Not a fucking chance in hell. Yeah, the link 3 is bad. Um, We're not going to read it. Yeah, do, no. do you think we're going to get the full tour guide of uh, the full... Because, look, look, let's look at the art. Come on. It does, in fact, have Booba. Uh, so it Fiend will... Booba. They printed engraver went, hmm, we're not selling enough of these. All right, next support, Booba. Yeah, pretty much. I hate that the game's come to this. For anyone to have any interesting cards, it has to either be busted... Or a woman, or Look a busted woman. The wagon. <laughs> uh, then we also get a new support card uh, announced for uh, Memento, Mementolian Akiron. Uh, it seems pretty good. Uh, so normal special summoned, uh, level nine or higher. Memento monsters can attack directly. Uh, so their fusions and their big guy that has five thousand attack on summon. Mm. Um, if this card is destroyed by card effect, target another memento card in your graveyard or banished, add it to your hand. Um, which is good for the fusion spell, because the fusion spell has a grave effect to do stuff, so you can just add back the fusion stuff. Yeah. Okay. I feel like the Fiendsmith stuff is still better than this card. Imagine if the fusion spell destroyed okay, instead of but sending for like, I'm not ranking these cards. This is good no, for, no. this is good for this deck. I'm saying that the previous cards read were better for memento than the card you just said. I mean potentially, yeah. Um, then if it's destroyed, no, I read that, uh, Memento in your hand or face off field is destroyed by battle or effect while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Sorry? Why do you play Memento? Too much going on. Way too much going on. They make purple. I don't care. There's way too much going on. I have, like, I have scooped to Memento because I'm confused. Things are happening, but things also aren't happening. So did we get Centurion announced for this set yet? No. Cool. So Centurion of Harmonica still to come. Yes, maybe. Um, speaking of, uh, well, there's no guarantee. Well, hold on. Did they ever, when they've done the re-release, like when they've done the, when they did Pearly, Rescue Ace, Makunko, they followed it on for the next three sets. Did they? Two sets? Three sets. They skipped for Rescue Ace. They went, oh, I know, we got this, the trap and then we got, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So but they just be... announced all the cards. That's what they always do for deck strange. building packs. They just... They... If they get one, you get three. Here's some alright cards. Anyway, here's some cards that make it work. <laughs> Sky Striker might be the... The... We're oh, not really know. talking about like... Yeah, because they just <laughs> kept getting cards. And the and I don't remember zombies getting anything after... Yeah, they got the fusion and the um, yeah. other thing. But not as much like... They didn't get well, no, because there's no booba. Wake up to yourself, right? Fraulein. Fraulein. That's not a fucking Eldritch card. Oh, I thought we were talking about the other cards that came out in Dasa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah that, so... That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And then... So maybe... I, I think we're safe. I think Centurion and Vermonica will get something. If there oh, was... then Vampire's got more support later on. Oh, Vampire's always get support, though. If there was one good thing about Dasa, it was that in my nine boxes when I pulled one Engage, I at least pulled, like, 12 Fraulein's and could sell those back for like $30, $40 each. They were expensive for a while. At least that saved my loss. <laughs> well, I held on to mine. <laughs> <laughs> now selling for a dollar. Now selling for nothing. Maybe. <laughs> we don't sell. I value it at its original price. Perfect entering, mind you. Uh, we get a uh, card for the Allure Queens, uh, which haven't been released yet, as far as I can work out. What? Mm, well, got released well, 20 years ago. No, no, the new Allure Queens, the yeah. Link Allure Queens. What's wrong with the cards from 20 years ago? 
so many things. They weren't good at the time. <laughs> no, we don't need to read this card then. No, the card's actually decent. I was talking um, about decent. Discard one other light or dark monster, special summon this card from your hand. Target one monster in either graveyard, equip it to this card, and if you do, this card's name becomes that monster's until the end. Then if there's a light or dark monster, if it's a light or darker monster, special summon a darker lure queen monster from your deck. Or graveyard. Oh, it's going to be timing though, because they have to destroy a darker monster. So this is in Animation Chronicle, right? The the other stuff. Yep. Yes. Which we won't get till the end of the year. So we're going to get this before... Certainly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can summon a Lua Queen level 3. Well, let's get Animation Chronicle in the Megatons, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, no, it'd be very may weird maybe just for this, that. because like, it'd be kind of oh, weird to... Maybe, yeah, but it'd still be at the end of the year, but maybe in the Bonanza. Ah, yes. The Bonanza. Which would be bad, because there's only 87 cards of, <clears throat> like... Normal stuff to come, so you know, it'd be shit if like eight of them. Bonanza is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, well, we don't know that well, yet. We'll get there. We'll we get don't know. There. We sure. don't know. Uh, we also get a new card for Perform Age. Uh, so this is the uh, Ball Balancer, uh, level four. <laughs> yeah, uh, level four Earth Spellcaster Pendulum. Um, Why is still banned? For now. Um, during your main phase, oh, pendulum effect. During your main phase, send one face up perform age pendulum monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Then you can increase this card's pendulum scale by the sent monsters. And then, monster effect if you control a perform age special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special, activate one of these effects. Either add a perform age pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up, or destroy a perform age monster card you control. I uh, still don't have flush fire. And then when your opponent special summons when your opponent's special summon monster declares an attack, special summon this card from your graveyard. We still don't have flush file. We might get it. End of all this time. Oh yeah, hundred percent's come back in. How long until um we continue. I forgot <coughs> I forgot my sentence. <laughs> well that much is Because maybe if they put the performe stuff in um the tens, is, there's no way. There's too much in these tens. Then again, they, it is like a 300 card set. There is All a lot. Cons. Although 200 of them are going to be the uh, old school cards. So there's only 87 cards to play with. Oh, I thought that was Bonanza. Oh, sorry. What, what were we talking about? The Mega tens. Ah. Oh, yeah, who fucking knows. Uh, so, in the current set, the Infinite Forbidden, we had Dominus Purge. We now have Dominus Impulse. Uh, so another actual hand trap. Uh, if your opponent controls a card, activate this card from your hand. When a card or effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster or monsters, negate that effect, and then if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. If you activated this from hand, you cannot activate the effects of light, earth, and wind monsters for the rest of this duel. So you can't play both? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you plan to just summon bodies and do nothing with them. Yeah. Play with Horus. From your hand? Well, you can't use... The no, effect. if you activate this effect yeah. from hand, you are locked out of those attributes. Like, including their effects on field? I thought it was just locks out other hand traps. You cannot activate the effects of light, earth, and wind monsters for the rest of this duel. Oh my god, I always thought it said hand. No. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, so it's, you use this and it turns off the other hand traps. It turns off everything? <laughs> Hilarious. Good card if you can play around it. Yeah. I can't work out what monsters these are in the artwork. Is it? It's a rainbow dragon, isn't it? No? It's no? not, no. Oh, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, is it's, it? um, next story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what cook shit you're on today. Um, was there anything else? Yes. Um, we get a couple of promos uh, that were announced through the week as well. Odd Eyes Soul Blaze Dragon, uh, it's level 8. We're not reading this card, it's fucking dog shit. It is, it's bad. I don't even know where it's coming out because it's like. Entirely in black and white, so it's, it's in some sort of magazine. It, it'd be the jump promo for next jump. Well, no, because this is the jump promo for next jump. Uh, this one is called multiple? the uh, Zerorot Migrator. It's a level 5 water effect, but we do not know the effect as yet. It will be announced as of... When? Oh, they usually give us a date. The next magazine. August 7th. There we go. Um, and then, uh, not too long ago, the stream concluded for some announcements for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so there was a bunch of stuff... Yeah, I know. Um, so there was a bunch you of really stuff... You really want to talk Yu-Gi-Oh! here on this podcast? Yeah, I know, it's weird. Um, so... Anyway, in Magic the Gathering... Shut the fuck up. They're in a tier zero meta. Ultimate are people are calling for a ban. Yeah, the bird. Huh. Anyway, Same. 
<laughs> for the whole time. Uh, so, Ultimate Dragon of Pride and Soul, level 12 Dark Dragon Fusion. Uh, needs three monsters with 2,500 original attack or defense. Uh, your opponent cannot target this fusion summon card with card effects, and it cannot be destroyed by their card effects. Uh, fusion summon gains 4,500 attack and defense while you have 24, 25 or more cards in your graveyard. And then once per turn, if your opponent has 25 or more cards in the graveyard, destroy all cards they control. Should be once per turn quick effect. Oh, gains 45 and it starts with 45. It just goes... <laughs> just, just a long down. Yeah. Your opponent, if you both have 25 cards in grave, this card is game over. Yeah, it's kind of bonkers, actually. Unless you blow up your ancient gear cards. True. Yeah, ancient gear. Yeah. yeah. The hidden meta. Hmm. He won his game. Mm. I don't know how much further he'll get, but we'll see. You guys made it out like because he won. He was going to day two, and I was like, just well, that's, that, was, "That was the information I was going off of him." They were still going, like they had more rounds. Yeah, like two more. Yeah, I thought they were done for the day. They were. No, they, they kept going. What? When I got to locals, they were watching the locals. Oh, yeah. okay. So they, I mean, they definitely said this is the last match of the day. It was still running when I got to locals. Wow. Run the tape. Sick. Uh, anyway, we also get uh, confirmation that we are getting the uh, event envelope things for Worlds. Well, at least that some people are. Um, so in them this year is Doom Caliber Knight and Swords of Revealing Light. Like oh. I get the Doom Cal because it's a prize card. But, uh, yeah. Swords, Swords is pretty. It's a nostalgic well, like, card. They've always been nostalgic cards. That's why I'm like, the Doom Cow, like, I get it. It's a prize card, but like... Mm, swords for goats, alright. Doom Cow... Uh, oh. They're Japanese. Oh, who cares? We play Japanese cards in our goat decks anyway. Yeah. True. Um, Unless we're then... playing an official Time Wizard tournament, then we 100% always swap them out. <laughs> I need to swap mine out if we ever go to a goat for my tournament. I'm just going to set, like, my fucking prismatic Japanese magician of face and be like... Whoops. Oh well, anyway. Um, Master Duel is also getting a new selection pack, the Master's Saga, on July 29th, and it will include Dragon Master Magia. So if you cool. don't want to pay 500 bucks for it, just play the Master Duel. Yeah, just play it virtually. Simples. <laughs> you oh, might my win God. games in Master Duel. I mean, I don't know how important this next bit will be, but it's kind of cooked slash funny. Uh, in Duel Links, as of July 26th, they'll be releasing the Selection Box 6, which has Nibiru in it. Yeah, that's fine. It's just there to punish um, huh. Link players. Because huh. anyone playing Xyz or Synchro ain't someone in five times. No. Uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff happening in Duel Links as well, like new uh, character skills and whatever, whatever, but I what couldn't about give a shit. for Rush Links? Was no, it, nothing for Rush Links. It was all um, Xyz th things. Oh. It's yeah. okay, Bragg. We're getting rushed all in six months in TCG. Please. Also announced in the stream was a bunch of stuff being released in Rage of the Abyss. So we have Battle Wasps. Uh, so I won't read through all of these. They're pretty shit. They're not amazing, but they do get a cool spell, uh, which is basically Black Whirlwind. Uh, up to twice per turn, if a monster is normal, a bee tripper is... No, Battle Wasp. Fuck, I'm going to do that a lot. If a Battle Wasp monster is normal special summon to your field, target good, one of so them, special. add a Battle Wasp monster with lower attack from your deck to your hand. That's, that's actually good. Yes. The because fact that it's twice per turn is really good too. The real weak ones are the ones that are special for free. So the normal summon that searches will also net a search. Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought it was. It's pretty good. And then once per turn, target an insect monster you control that has a level. If you use it as synchro material, you can treat it as a tuner. Mm. Cool. To get you out of some maybe tricky spots. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot tricky of the spots others... when you're linking your V troopers. You know what? If there is a Battle Wasp fan out there that was keen for this, I'm glad you got it. Yeah, we yeah. just need Max C for that deck to be good. I'm going to ever get Max C. Maybe. Give us a B. Not here. Unless we get Insecty Grave Blocky. Insecty Grave Blocky? Yeah. Didn't we say it was Rocky Hand Droppy? What if they give us an insect? All it's the bugs still... are insects. And they're Earth. Not all the time. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, all the Battle Wasps are uh, winds. Yeah. And all the Bee Troopers are different. Resonance only adds Earths. Adds Earth insects. Oh, yeah. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Not, Not to be confused with Resonance counters. <clears throat> no, very different. Oh. 
Yeah, my stomach doesn't like resting its counters. Uh, and then, finally, for the namesake of the set, we get Mermals announced. Mermals. And the Lanians. Yeah, the, the yeah they finally spin. put them together. They're not just together because they're waters. What's the translated name for the main deck monster? Uh, so there's two main deck monsters. Uh, one is the called cool. Abyss Shrine, and it's text box says always treat as a mermal. So it's mermal of And then the other one is mermal shadow bodyguards, which is always treated as an Atlantean. Okay. Um, yeah, I won't read through all of these. Uh, the Xyz is quite good. Um, yeah. Does uh, a big, does a bounce of like a lot of cards. Ign ignition effect though. Yeah, Slow. Ignition, but, but that's okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if it's sent to Graveyard, a special uh, bunch of them back. Uh, so the charged. Link 3, um, which prevents targeting to stuff it points to. Not really a new idea. The X is, what do you have to overlay on new? Uh, so, not, uh, not the you can material. use one Atlantean or Mermal Xyz you control. Oh, okay. Not that bad. Nah. Hey. Why would you ever get rid of Gaios? Yeah. You can, like, make the shit. Well, ranks. if anything, you're going first, you make Gaios. You negate some stuff, and oh, let's say, in yeah. theory, you survive. Mm -hmm. Turn two. Whack. Yeah, sure. And then you bounce what's left. Yeah. Mm. And then you soul charge what's got a grave. Mm. Make another guy else. Um, yeah, so the link three prevents targeting to suffer points to. If a water is sent to the graveyard to activate a card effect, take an abyss equip spell from your deck and either put it on him or attack, uh, add it to hand. Mm. And then if it's destroyed, uh, you can add a Atlantean or Mermail monster from your deck to your hand. Not that great. And the equip spell was also not that great. Um, well, the old equip spells was okay though, wasn't it? Well, they had three decent ones. You had the spell negate, the oh, trap negate. That sounds like too many. I think you're. I, f I feel like I'm like in the realm that I can say this. You just said it was okay. You just said the bloody Xyz was okay. I'm not going to trust your word. I it's met Jake okay. playing Murmur. Yeah, I was just playing Trap Exodia. <laughs> trap Exodia, best deck. I also played Murmur. Woo! Long time ago. Yeah, not when uh, Neptibus was around. Yeah, true. Neptibus was real good. But so good that it made the other two equipped spells good? No. Yeah. They're alright. I'm sure there's one that's good. The spell negate. Great, even. Yeah. Yeah. It's the spell negate. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, when I was playing at that YCS, played the trap negate. Because I didn't want anyone fucking around in my battle phase. But it came back to bite me. <laughs> oh no, no more Wobbacoos. Yeah, Paleo ruined. Well, yeah, you had a bunch of Paleo, you had stuff. Trap Exodia. Wait, wouldn't well, the yeah. other one be a monster in the game then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that's a, a spell, logic there's a, the spell a trap, and monster. Yeah. Wait, is it once per turn on the equip thing? <laughs> oh, the seeds, you just. Every time you do it, you just go. Here's another um, shield. Yeah, second yeah, second and third effects are once per turn. Mm. But in theory, you could play, like, effectively two of them and try and do some stuff off turn and then oh, yeah. equip one off turn. Because Mig's getting you one. And then you add the other. Oh, and it's also from Graveyard, so you can use the spell on the gate, loop a card, put it back on. <laughs> Surely Finsmith just works in that. <laughs> well, a lot of <laughs> the... A lot of water. A, yeah. Oh, no! The fucking um, Xyz, the, um, the Hiking Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you still, you still have to it, get there. It only locks you from extra deck. So, you... oh you, no, you need to do the link one climbing to get there. Yeah, no, but you got to start. You with do it. that first. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what's the link need? Uh, this link, uh, two plus monsters, including a fish, sea serpent, or aqua. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you leave, like, you have the link Mermal to... Mermal Fiends! <laughs> you have your <laughs> High Wave King, you've got your ex, your Link 2, and you summon another one, and then Link 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. just kind of to the point where it should, like... Mermal yeah. Fiendsmith. I solved world hunger. Damn Fiendsmith. Those kids in Africa that were like, if only I could win a YCS to get the prizing, but I only have Mermal cards and Fiendsmith cards, how are they going to get put together? I just what saw world are they problem. in that those are the two ends of the spectrum they're on? Mermels and Fiendsmith. They're, they're duelists. All they're, duelists should have Mermel and Fiendsmith. Do you have Mermel? Yep. 
All of it? Yep. There's literally a built mobile core right there in that box. Oh, there is too, yeah. yeah. I was literally here with you when you built like it. Like I have it, it's all over the shop though. I started buying Max Rarity and then went, mm, this is getting expensive. I saw my secrets and when I, I, ha the I haven't been there before. And then people don't want to buy a core because one of them's US and it's a fucking hassle to try and yeah, get a fucking... The, my core has fucking US Megaloos. And they're disgusting. Yep. They're not that bad. <laughs> they're not bad enough that people turn up their fucking noses at it. God, look, you're trying to slip I bought them, them because I could cut a good deal. Uh, and then finally there's a trap for puppets. It that's completely all they're irrelevant. Doing. It's so fucking bad. Does nothing for what they apparently built that deck to do, which was to kill your opponent before they get to play. It's so dumb. Poor Caleb. Oh yeah. So FTK, no working. You got hand trapped to death. <laughs> yeah. All day long. He never had the field spell when his opponent had the hand trap. It happens. Yeah. I mean. I'm not that upset that it happened to the FDK players, so sorry. Um, we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, our two questions this week both come to us from Falcon Waffles. Hi, Falcon Waffles. Uh, so, first of all, last week's episode uh, was at least top three. It was a great episode. I had a lot of fun recording it, and listening back, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah, I didn't listen. I didn't listen back yet. That's why the time codes haven't been done. Uh, yeah, very fun. My bad. Yes, I'm glad. I'll get around to it. I'm glad they enjoyed it, Falcon Waffles or Mr. Waffles, if you prefer. Um, I hope the rest of you did too. Although we have had some comments that people didn't enjoy it that much. <laughs> I Chief, had chiefly, oh. chiefly Harry. Yeah, that's fine. The hell? <laughs> the hell? All the people that complain online say it's good. Yeah, the anonymous people who I don't care about. No, actually, not care about. I actually people. genuinely got a comment on like my channel being like, "This was great." Yeah, I, I was like, okay. it "Does remind me of the old days where we'd like come straight after locals and it'd be like eleven thirty because locals those days used maybe to be our audience is in a brain rock. <laughs> yeah, mean, yeah. We need to we need to cater to the TikTok audience. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Falcon Waffle's first question. With the Bonanza set announced, um, I'm guessing this will be all of the QCRs we missed from the OCG sets, like the Unity set, etc. Uh, they had it seem like Magician's Rod in there. His real question is, when will the QCRs actually stop if this set is coming out in November? I think either this will be the last one or the next set after will be the last one. They announced the name for the next set, didn't they? I was coming by what it was. Yeah, I can't remember it either. It wasn't water related. <laughs> no. But that's okay, we actually have the mermails now. Yeah, we got the water we wanted. Um, yeah, like, hopefully it stops soon, because it's so overdone. Like, Japanese companies, companies typically do this though, where like, when they're having a, an anniversary, they'll be like, we're starting this a year early. We're finishing it a year after. <laughs> So, yeah, 25 years is a, a big thing, sure. Yeah, but it'll only be like two years and then they'll be like, time for the 30th. Yeah. <laughs> 30th that's... promotion starting now. Who am I to get in a, have a problem with marketing? We didn't get the 20th stuff here. The bulk of the 20th stuff. I nearly made the signature for um, us and having it established in 2016. No, we're actually 2015. We're just, I've deleted all the content we did for 2015. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been premium so, content. 10 years next year. That Necros content. So we should start our 10 years uh, stuff today. Yes. Get your 10 years merch. Brag, what's the merch? You didn't like our idea. Well, it's now our idea. Now he's put his idea into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he theorized a yellow tie. Um, <laughs> I theorized like the Conor McGregor suit that just said fuck you the whole way through it. That um, in slightly lighter yellow it says if you weren't aware we do have a discord link will be in the description below feel free to jump inside high and ask us questions <laughs> fuck you Jerome yeah, yeah yeah that could be woven in there um, actually maybe just fuck you Jerome <laughs> <laughs> they say I didn't like this idea I just heard them talking about it while I was going to the bathroom no you definitely said no he as scoffed you went to the it was bathroom. a big scoff oh okay but yeah he spat on the floor at some point we would like to do merch 
We've theorized it many times. Yeah. Because small scale printing it is expensive. Yeah. Yes. Print to order is just a shit fight at the moment. And still, because it's just random Yahoo's trying to set it up. Thus stopping us random Yahoo set. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and I'm not really keen to order boxes and boxes of merch because we have nowhere to put it. No. There is that. Yeah. Also, yeah. we have to sell it once we print it. Yeah. Yes. Um, the spirit is there. The spirit is there. The will to do it, not so much. Well, the will's a little bit. The, the means. Yeah, a little bit of will. Yeah, the means. Is completely gone. Yeah. Well, the means never arrived. Um, <laughs> and then lastly, what deck do you think will win Worlds? Ooh. We had this conversation earlier, depending on what the ban list is. Um, I think it'll be Ubel. You reckon? Nothing's hit for Ubel in the OCG. But if they do a oh, semi... It won't have Phantom of Ubel if we don't include the most recent set. No, didn't they include... Oh, wait, no. No, it does. Phantom it doesn't have, doesn't have Fiendsmith. Yes, so we don't include the most recent TCG set, which is Fiendsmith. I think Ubel will win. It could be onto something. Because it'll be a, a nuked fucking Snake Eyes. Like, it'll be OCG Snake Eyes without Fiendsmith, which is the reason why that deck still functions. Inferno? Mm. No, they need some of that. They other, need that yeah, Snake yeah. Eyes stuff, yeah. Ice Barrier. You could, yeah, you could be onto something. It could Sprite. be Bell. Oh, Toads banned the OCG? Yes. Yeah. I don't remember. I think they banned Toad instead of Ronan Toad. Yes, yes, they did. Um, yeah, and like, if they do do an amalgamated list like they have in the previous years, the only thing hitting in Ubel is the um, level 6 Unchained. And even then, the Ubel engine it's only one. uses one. Yeah. Well, that's a shout. I don't know. I've got enough. It would be nice for, well, I suppose it's not really the 25th An year anymore. Anime deck to win. Yeah. Remember like, when last time with anime? anime? <laughs> Anime no, deck one? I, as it happens, I don't remember that. You don't remember the last time an anime deck one? I mean, not what you said the first time. I remember the last time an anime deck one. I'm fairly sure that time I also said anime. <laughs> yeah. There's a chance it wins the North American. Did it win Eagles? the qualifier? Or was it just Fiend, or was it just Snake Eyes? I didn't actually watch the last chance qualifier. I di didn't realize it was on. I kind of forgot. Yeah, that I didn't people realize. Were, there was so much complaining from people being like, we've got two days to get our Fiend Smith before WCQ. That I forgot that two days after Fiendsmith came out, there was a WCQ. <laughs> hmm. That does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. This is really short. No matter.